Good. No worries. Question number nine, right? Dump line bearing of P from Q. Of P from Q. And the dump line bearing of QP is 135 degrees. Degree. Yes. Great circle bearing GC, PQ, of Q from Q. Yes. It's 308 degrees. 308 degrees. So we have to find GC, QP. Find great circle track of P from Q. Q. All right. So again, you have uncertainty regarding the uh, hemispheres here, right? So you can see here, rump line from Q to P and great circle from P to Q, right? So if I can make rump line from Q to P as rump line from P to Q, I can now compare with great circle from P to Q. Yes, let's find out. Uh, this rump line from P to Q will be 135 plus 180, that is 315. That is 315 yeah. degrees too, right? So look at these tracks. They are more in the westerly direction, not the easterly tracks. It's in the opposite direction. So in the opposite direction, think about it. Uh, just a very random figure. If you look at the northern hemisphere, then the great circle rump line is like this. Southern hemisphere, great circle rump line is going to be like this, right? Yes. So you can see that this is the great circle track, and the great circle track has to be more rump line. Is the great circle track more than rump line? No, the rump line is more. So rump line is more than great circle only if it is in the southern hemisphere. See the line here? Yes. Right, let's draw the southern hemisphere. Yes. This is the equator here. And this is your south pole here. And if you look at the true direction system, great circle track from P to Q is 308. 308 somewhere is the northwesterly direction. So from P to Q, or take a line parallel all the way and place it here. Yes. So the great circle track, this is going to be P, and this is going to be Q. Now, rump line track, therefore, is going to be north of the circle track, more like convex to the equator, right? Again, PQ. You are given the rump line track from Q to P. So, from is the point of concentration. To P is this rump line track, which is 135. Now, so you can see the angles are kind of matching. It's 135, it's in that direction, right? Otherwise, you would have got 135 the other way. Right? Well, let's see. Now, great circle track from P to Q is also given. From P to Q. To Q, it's 308 degrees. That's right, 308 degrees. Now, as I, as I told you before, two angles at two different points, you cannot compare them easily. Either take this to the other side, but to take the great circle track to the other side, you have to have convergency, which I don't have at the moment. But I can easily take rump line to the other side because rump line tracks don't change. They are line of constant true direction. Therefore, yeah. this is 135. Therefore, this particular angle is rump line track from Q to P and rump line track at P. At P. It's going to be is three, 135. 135 degrees. Now once you have this, yeah. I can actually complete this all the way up to here to find rump line track from Q to P. Yeah. That is 350. So from P to P, so P yes. Q. That is? P to Q is 315. Which we got 315 degrees. True. That's yes. what we found out here, right? Yes, yes. 315. And you can see now rump line track is actually more than great circle track, therefore that's why it's yeah. an hemisphere. What can we get from this? We can get the conversion angle. So this is 308. Between the rump line track and the great circle track. Great circle track. So 308, 315. How much is it? 14 degrees. Uh, 315 is the rump line track. 308 is the uh, seven, seven, great circle seven, track. Seven. It's 7 degrees is the degree. yeah. conversion angle. So conversion angle between two points joined by the same two tracks will be the same. Therefore, this is also going to be seven degrees. You have to find out the great circle track from Q to P. So from Q towards P. 135 plus seven. That's right. 142 degrees. Correct. 142 degrees true. Yes. What? Make sense? Yes. Yes. Out of practice, you will be able to now pick up the hemisphere. You don't understand. 
very quickly what the hemisphere is. Yeah. Question number 11. Rate circle bearing of P from Q224. Rate circle bearing of Q from P56. Find non plan bearing of P from Q. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Question number 11. Great circle bearing of P from Q. That is GCQP, P from Q. Two to four degrees. Great circle bearing of Q from P, that is great circle bearing GCPQ, is 56 degrees. True. Find the long line bearing of P from Q. P from Q. Let's so assume we'll have to again. Second? Again we'll have to draw both the hemispheres. Let's find out. Let's find the northern hemisphere first. North pole. Equator. Great circle from Q to P is 224. Let's draw a track of 224. That is somewhere like this. And that is from Q. P. Therefore, this is Q and this is P. Total to 4 degrees. Your great circle bearing from P to Q is 56. Yeah. What about unplanned bearing? In this case, since it is a southern hemisphere, unplanned bearing is Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think. So we have different ways of finding convergency. One by finding conversion angle, or by finding chillong, which is not possible here, or by finding difference in rate circle track. So Again, difference in rate circle track. Uh, for three methods okay. of. Uh, rate circle track, we can found, uh, find out. Difference. Yeah. So converge, convergence is equal to difference in great circle track, right? Yeah. So what I what is the plan? Uh, if I am taking the great final great circle at uh, P, at P? final great circle at P, okay. so that will be. Uh, 56 plus 180. So I'm traveling from Q to P. The final great circle track at P would be so much, which is 56 180. Plus 180 56. Plus 56 equals to 236. Degrees true. Yeah. So we have the great circle track here from Q to P is 224 degrees true. And the great circle track over here. Uh, from uh, at P is 236 degrees true. Yeah. yeah. So you've got two wave circle tracks, one at Q and one at P. Now what is that? Convergency is difference in the wave circle track. Great circle track. So the difference in wave circle track in the same direction is how much? Yes. 236 minus 224. Yeah, how much is that? It's uh, 12 degrees. 12 degrees your convergence. If your convergence, what are you asked to find out? You have to find a rump line track. Given yeah. uh, two eight circle tracks, if I want rump line track, I need the conversion factor, which is the conversion angle. So how will I find the conversion angle now? If you have the convergence is 12 degrees. So divided by 2, yeah. Yeah, that's half yeah. of 6 degrees. 12, which is 6, six degrees, degrees, right? Rump line track is asked to find out from Q to P. From Q to P. The great circle track from Q to P is 224. I got the conversion angle as 6 degrees. Therefore, what is the rump line track from Q to P? It will be 224 180 degrees. minus 6, six which is? Yeah, uh, 218 degrees. Therefore, rump line track from Q to P is 2. From Q to P is 214 degrees. Two one eight degrees. Two one eight degrees. Happy with this question? Understood. So we use the third method of great uh, of finding 
convergence. You always think about three methods, you will get one of those for sure. But you have to just have to apply it. Either equation or conversion convergence is equal to half of conversion as an angle is half of convergency or convergency is a difference in great circle tracks. So we employ the difference in great circle tracks here in a particular direction. Right? Happy with this question? Right? Yes. Well, I'll go through this once again quickly. Because you said you're confused. So sir, now similarly, if it is asked that rum line track from P to Q, so that will be 56 plus 6 degrees, that will give me 62. Yeah, that's right, 56 from plus 6 or 62. Or you have the rum line track from Q to P is 218, so just add 180 to it. Plus 180 minus 360. 360 minus that, right? Alright, now look at this once again. Okay. Say in the final rumb line track at P, so that is again 218 degrees. This one? Rumb line track final, yes, this is again 218 degrees. Mm. Now, if I want to calculate the reciprocal, so I will be doing 218 plus 180. Or you can do 218 minus 180, both are same. Okay, 218 minus 180. Uh, then again, yes, it is showing me. Uh, the initial run line track at P from Q, uh, to Q is 38 degrees. Mm. But if I am considering the normal figure, then it says that it should be 56 degrees plus 6 degrees. Mm. So it is 62. Look at the angle here. How much is that? 236. Look at this angle here. How much is that? It can't be possible. Ah. Look at this great circle here. How much is that? Two to four. Two to four. Look at the same great circle in the in the other great circle in the same direction. How much is that? Two thirty six. Two thirty six. Yeah. Great circle track. You are traveling westerly is increasing. In which hemisphere does, does it happen? That happens in only in southern hemisphere. Ah, so the hemisphere is wrong. That is why it's not in line. Uh, Let's now think about the other one. So be very careful with all this. Huh? When you get the values, just look at that and see whether it is relatable. You will get the answers. When you add or subtract, you will get some value for sure. But it need not be the answer. Yes. Yes, let's now mark. Even they will also ask the answers for give the answers in options for northern and southern board. Oh yes, yes. You will have all these answers in the options for sure. If it is put sensibly, even if I am the examiner, I'll definitely put them in the options. Just to make you happy when you get the yeah. answers. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Some will realize it. Uh, all right. So here, uh, let's start from beginning. J circle track from Q to P is two twenty four. Yeah. Now you can see everything will fall in place. Great circle track from P to Q is 56, from P to Q is 56. Right? What is the great circle track at Q? What is the great circle track at Q? So again like that convergency we calculated it is 12 degree. Oh, the great circle track from Q to P is 224. Therefore, what is the great circle track at Q? Just subtract 180 okay, from that. Okay, I will minus 180. Yeah, okay. How much is it? Yeah. 2 to 4 minus 180 will give me 44 degrees. 44 degrees, right? So now we have the great circle track at P. From P to Q is 56 degrees. And the great circle track, and the final great circle track, the initial great circle track from P to Q, the final great circle track at Q is 44 degrees. Add these two. No, this is 12 degrees. No, add, add. <coughs> It's 100 degrees. Adding. What about the great circle? Try the way around. It's 56 plus 180, 236. That's what you got here, right? Yeah. And this was 224. Now add those two. So that great circle track in westerly direction increases only in southern hemisphere. 
that's right. You can see it's 56 and 44 there. Uh, so, easterly direction it is reducing, southern hemisphere. Yeah. Westerly direction it is 224, so they're going 236. Again, it is the uh, southern hemisphere. And we saw the other, other thing, if you add these two and if you get 100, less than 180, southern hemisphere again. You can add these to 224 and 236 minus 360, again you will get the same thing. So you can add and define that way as well. So multiple ways by which you can remember. Make sure, before, after, once you get the final answer, just see whether the angles seem correct to you with respect to the values. Right? Yeah. Yes, so what is, you asked if I draw the line track from Q to P here. So let's draw the line track. Now the thing is the line track is going to go up. And that is why the angles are going to fall in place. And that is why it did not fall in place here. Yeah. Right? Don't line track from Q to P is from Q to P is this one here. What is the conversion angle which we got? Six degrees. Therefore, okay. this will be two twenty-four minus six. Two one eight degrees. So not the same. We will have to draw a different line. It is the same value. Or oh, it cannot be the same value. If the run line track which was here went here. Now, run plane track is actually more than red circle track. The red circle track is 224. Yeah. Run plane track has to be more. That is because you subtracted it. You have to add 224 plus 6 is 230. Okay, it's okay. Get 224 plus 6 and 230. Yes, sorry. It's your run track. Yeah. Let's find other angles as well. What is this run plane track? So again, it's 230. Therefore, now you can see plus 6 is coming to 36. This is 6 because this is 6. Right? What about the rump line track from P to Q? It's 230 minus 180. Just 50. Now you can see this is 56 minus 6 is 50. Minus 6. And therefore, this angle is also 44 plus 6. So it's all, yeah, all falling in place. The tracks are same. Here, the line tracks are same. 50 plus so 180, 50. which is 230. Yeah. Red circle tracks, they reduce easterly and they increase in the westerly direction, southern hemisphere. So one of the ways by which you can check that is by looking physically at the grade circle tracks. When you get the final answer, you got here as 218, you got here as 236, which means this has to be the south. But what I've drawn here is the 